Hi. So, um, Jay and I decided to make a trip to Goodwill today. It's not a particularly special day. There's no coupons. It's not customer appreciation day or anything like that. Um, but we just decided our son is with your parents tonight. Yep. So we had one less heartbeat to deal with. Um, so we decided that we were going to go sourcing. So here we are. Yeah. We have our baby yep. and our daughter. So this is going to be an adventure. Oh, what's that? The Ralph Lauren. Oh, we sold a polo shirt for 15 bucks. All right, so let's go find some stuff. Are you ready to go shopping? You want to go shopping? Okay. Okay, Jay, what color tag are we looking for? Finding good stuff? Say yeah. Yeah. Do you want to keep the pillow? No. No? Should I keep the pillow? Yeah. You want... Okay, you can stay. I think Tamira is going to keep the frozen pillow. That's all right. Oh! Mira, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Jackson, how do you think we did today? I think we did okay. We didn't buy anything for you though. Is that okay? He understands. And we're back. Hi. Yes, so um, this is our haul. I hope this is everything. I don't know. It's a lot of it. Yeah. We, we actually went um, a couple days ago. So um, we're just doing the video, this part of it now. Um, so we tried to pile everything onto the table. I'm sure we're missing a few things. We're going to find things after we're done recording, but um, that's okay. But so we went to Goodwill. Um, like we said, we brought um, two of our three children. We brought our daughter and our youngest son. And, um, they were pretty good. They were pretty good. They were pretty good. But, um, so anyway, how much did we spend? I think it was like 160. 160. Okay. So we have to be missing some things, but anyway, so, um, we're going to show you kind of a bunch of stuff that we got. Um, some of the stuff is already listed, but some of the stuff I still have to list, but let's just jump right in. Okay. First. Oh, Yes. The frozen hoodie pillow. Yeah. Our daughter loved this. Yeah. So. That's um Olaf, obviously. Oh, yeah. So you wear it like a hood. I thought that was cute. And those are going for like $20, $25. Yeah. And I think that was, was that two ninety nine? Yeah, I think so. Two ninety nine. So, so, yeah, mm -hmm. if, if anybody wants this, grab it quick before I change my mind and just let our daughter keep it. Here we have this interesting New York Yankees hat. It's kind of got that, uh, it's very good condition. It's got yeah. like that uh, sort of neck in, and ear, ear flap right. cover. Because it gets cold there. You know, somebody in New York probably <laughs> had this. Oh, I'm sure. Made it out this way. I don't know. But yeah, it's, I mean, this is in super condition. Like it looks brand new. Yeah, it really does. So there's not a mark or a stain on that. So that one was kind of cool. Um, this one, I thought, I'm a sucker. I thought this was real leather, but I guess if you feel it, it is a little, I don't know. I thought it was real. Um, Black Rivet is the brand name, and it's a cool jacket. Um, it's almost like a 
like a silver shimmer faux Ooh. leather um, kind of motorcycle jacket look. You're going to look cool stepping out in this. Yeah. Is the bottom line. The bottom line. So. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not holding it up very well, but. No, that's okay. Because we spent $10 on it because I thought it was real leather, but I probably should have looked closer. So well, that yeah. just means we're going to have to sell it for hire just to make a, a decent profit, but that's okay. But it's cool. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. Um, Hallmark uh, Christmas cards. Two, let's see if I can get it here. Two packs, um, 15 cards in each. They're the same. They're the same cards. Um, so I thought this was neat, and this is brand new. Um, Hallmark Christmas is coming up. You know, we're almost in fourth quarter. So um, I thought these were kind of neat, and yeah. these were 99 cents each. So I lotted them together already. I can't remember what I put them up for. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, but I made sure all the envelopes are all there, all the um, cards are accounted for. So I thought those were kind of neat. There's a little story going on there. There's a, <laughs> a snowman being, you know, that's built, and then the little kids are clearly making a, a snowman wife, snow <laughs> snow woman to go with the snowman. Oh, that's what they're doing. Look, there's her hat. Oh yeah, you're right. There's her hat on there. So they're they're building uh building frosty friend there. Oh, some kids are cute. Um, these again, since fourth quarter is coming, um, I got two of these photo frame, like, um, Christmas snowflake with like gems in it. Um, and you can put a photo in there. Um, there's another one that doesn't have the red gems, but it comes with a box. What brand is this? Mercasia. Oh, yeah. M-E-R-C-A-S-I-A. -A. Look at that. Grandma's going to love that. Yeah. And then this one is just the plain white one. So these were neat. Um, I debated um, listing these separately, but I did list them together. Um, yeah. You know, somebody might give this to two you know, different people for Christmas. You got two so. kids. Yeah. You put a kids picture in each one. Yeah. There you go. So they can save on shipping and I put them together. Um, never heard of this brand before, but it is... Volcom, V-O-L-C-O-M. I'm not going to be able to even get close enough to show you. Um, but look at these little tiny shorts. Size. Where's the rest of that outfit? <laughs> He's practicing his dad voice. Um, but the brand is actually doing really well. It's it's selling for like anywhere between $18 and $29 for um, from what I saw for a pair of shorts. So I grabbed it. Um, these were half off. I took the tag off because I listed these. Um, but I believe I got these half off So I for $3. Looks like the length is half off. <laughs> okay. Um, these, Juicy Couture. I know Juicy Couture doesn't do as well as it used to. You would think Juicy Couture is a good name, but it doesn't really sell all that well. Um, but I did get these kind of, um, I don't know, would you consider these like pajama shorts or just? Yeah, I'd say pajama shorts. Yeah, just like casual, go out, oops, sorry, <laughs> shorts. Um, but these I, I also got for half off, so I we paid three fifty dollars for these. But those are kind of cute. All right. Um, so you got this one that you said Minecraft. You looked up Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft backpacks, backpacks seem to be going what for oh, it's the boots that are a way. pretty decent yeah. amount. So there we got, if you can see that, got a pretty cool gray, nice condition. Yeah. Minecraft backpack. I looked through it. There's nothing in it. It's empty. <laughs> you know, just so you know, but inside the condition is good. Um, so yeah, I, I, I had heard of the game. I've actually never played the game, but I figured maybe that would be a uh, brand that is worthwhile and it turns out that it is. Yep. So here you go. And it was the green tag. So it was actually two fifty. So half off. Yay. Right. Was it half off? Yep. Green was half off. Mm. Um, and okay. So this one, um, Franklin quest. This one was neat because inside it had the strap to it, 
um, which connects to this. So it's like a, not a binder, but, or like a portfolio. What do you call these? I think a portfolio. Yeah, like a, like a binder portfolio. Um, and so this one was $2.99. So it was not half off, but we did pay $2.99. Um, and I have this listed for $55. I know we're not going to get $55 for it, but put it up for $55 because... That's the going rate. Yeah, that's what I saw comps for. Um, this is also a Franklin Quest. This was right next to it. This was $1.99. So this one was kind of cool, too. Leather. Oh, yeah. Um, and... Got yeah. some kind of brush nickel on the inside yeah. there. For the, yeah, for you're the right. Rings. So this one was kind of cool, no strap or anything, but um, yeah. It's like it was kind of cool. The rich man's trapper keeper, right there. <laughs> trapper keeper. Trapper keepers actually go for good money if you can find I a good. Would believe it. Eighties, nineties trapper keeper. Yeah, this is kind of like a trapper keeper. It right? is actually. I never thought about it that way. Um, soda can robug. Rob. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably saw Aaron holding this in the video. I know because I edited it. Um, yeah, soda can, green science soda can robug. Build, recycle, create a unique robot that is as much science project as it is a toy. It robug emits sound and moves across the floor. It really is a vibration sensation. <laughs> See, that is kind of neat. I actually thought about keeping that for our kids but they're too young now you could do this with a beer can too i bet it's not just uh... <gasps> we're not gonna do that with our kids not the beer can part. yeah no 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 no, no, no. But, see you kind of uh, want to keep it don't you uh you know we can have some fun with Robug. well i listed it so it's too late um look at these cool coach boots um, these were really, really neat. Um, they were $14.99. They were not half off and they're size five and a half. So we're going to sit on these for a bit. Um, hopefully, you know, because winter is coming, <laughs> somebody small wants some coach boots. Um, but I didn't realize that the size was so small until we got home, but um, still, these are really cool and cute and colorful and in really, really great condition and they're coach. Yeah. So I thought these were cool. Um, I know coach shoes don't sell as well as they used to, but they still sell. they will look real stylish on the school bus. <laughs> so I'd never heard of this brand before. Armand Bassi. Um, B-A-S-I. I've never heard of this brand, um, but it's a men's shirt. 2XL. Um, it's like see-through. It's like sheer. I don't know if I can even. So, I mean, I don't know where this would be worn, but um, this was half off. So this was $2 and this brand is going for um, a lot of money. So I think I have this one listed for $30. Um, so look out for Armand Bassi, B-A-S-I. So Kind of neat. Yeah. Kind of cool. Wrigley Field baseball cap. Again, we live in Chicago suburbs, so um, finding a hat for a Chicago team is not hard to come by. Um, but it's it looks kind of vintagey, right? I mean, it looks... Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a Wrigley Field hat, not a Cubs hat. Right. It's a Wrigley Field hat. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe that would make it worth more. Yeah, it's I, I've not no. ever seen one quite like it. Yeah, you can kind of see the. See that. There you go. So, kind of neat. This one was kind of cool. Clark's a Clark's purse. There's just like zippers every which way you can wear it ten thousand ways. Um, and this one was five dollars. Kind of went back and forth with it. Um, uh, but there's. An, an identical one to this, except it's pink, with the exact same one that's going for $35. Nice. So um, this one is, was just really cool, just like a crossbody purse. Anyway, I thought this was, I thought this was really neat. So it's it's like quilted, but um, yeah, I thought that was neat. Okay, good style. Yeah. What did you get? 
a quick pump. Got a quick pump. <laughs> Coleman. Coleman. Coleman quick pump. You know, for blowing up your uh, your air mattress. You know, because uh... you get these and then, you know, the air mattress ends up in the garage. This thing ends up in pieces all over your house. You have no idea where the pieces are. So if you need another one, here it is. The quick pump 4D. Yeah. Um, one of Jay's oh. favorite shows. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. I found a, just, I mean, this thing is in immaculate condition. We got to be careful with this because uh, there is not a mark no. on this Rick and Morty lunchbox. Yeah, no. It's metal or whatever this is made of. Um, it says made by lounge fly but um was it supposed to come with a thermos i don't think so so inside again you can see that not a mark like i don't think this thing has ever been used yeah no um the latch is still strong and quality yeah it's it's in really good shape yeah so yeah i, I would use this i've seen several episodes but who who's that <laughs> That's a long story. This is um, this is right here. That's um, I believe Rick's ex girlfriend, who is a um, being that inhabits the entire population of a planet. So it's like a hive mind kind of thing. Okay. I could go on, but you don't have time for that. So. But what's weird about that is like Rick and Morty. I mean, obviously there's a lot of episodes, and and but this is the only lunchbox that ex that I saw. That exists. That's a good point. So I don't know why that particular scene, why, why, why isn't Morty in it? That's a great question. I don't know. But yeah, it's even like kind of, you know, like the, it's got a textured yeah. surface. Um, very nice. Yeah. It's really cool. So Jay found a breast pump. Um, for six ninety nine. Yeah. And it's missing like a couple of like the little suction pieces, but I think... You know, even without those. Here, we can show. Yeah, I did test it. It, um, well, I mean, I didn't test it, but like I plugged it in and it works. Um, um, yeah, the Philips Avent, is that how you say it? Yeah, Avent or Avent, yeah. And, um, I don't know if this is the number or not, but SCF334. Yeah. I don't know if that's the model. Um, but yeah, it's got even, it's got the instruction book. It's got the pump itself. We've got a couple of the actual little parts that, you know, connect. Um, yeah, so breast pumps, used breast pumps actually do pretty well. You can get anywhere between 40 and $80 I'm, for a good breast pump. I'm spilling these, but we've got some a, a lot of, of course, unused bags. Ew. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a cool set. I yeah. found, that, um, this was in the, in the bins, you know, when they wheel them out before the employees oh, have a chance okay. to put everything in the proper place oh, and people okay. kind of swarm those bins mm. as they roll out. So I managed to, uh, find this. I thought, Hey, I know that these things are expensive yeah. because we've had to get them. So yeah. yes, <clears throat> ties. Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked these up. Um, but I, I did grab a few. I kind of want to start looking in um, into ties um, and selling more ties. Um, this one I got because it was new attached. Oh, okay. You want to start with that one? Oh, are we that going one? through each one? I was just going to show them off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Well, this one is religious. So I thought it's on eagle's wings. Oh, right. Um, so I thought, you know, a religious. Absolutely. Uh, very uh, Christian uh, imagery here. Yeah crown of thorns a yeah. little, and uh presumably the bible some praying hands yeah so i mean i don't know figured yeah with christmas coming and i don't know um and then again harold's i have no idea i've never heard of this brand i don't know if it's worth anything but it still has the tag on it so i get to list this as new um and it's kind of a neat print kind of like fall leaves and stuff like that. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, this one, Park, Parks, Parkston? Parks. Parkston, I think. Silk, handmade silk. 
I don't know how to. Uh, is this sheep? That is yeah, sheep. It's a black oh. sheep tie. Yeah. And like, and that's neat. And it's just one white sheep in the middle. So I, don't, <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. Um, oh, this one's weird. Yeah. This one. What is this? Um, Valeria Boldy. Is that how it is? I would. Yeah. B-O-L-D-I. Val Valera. Val Valeria Boldy. I don't know. It's but some trippy elephants, though. <laughs> Check this out. That is, that's weird. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know if those are like Indian elephants or. I don't know. They're, it's just, it's a bunch of oddly drawn elephants. Yeah. So I don't know. I, it was, it was, that was the last um, place that I was looking was ties because he was like, let's go. It's almost the kid's bedtime. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah. I was just like kind of grabbing ties. Um, you found these boots? Yes. I found a few pairs of boots. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Where... The other ones are somewhere. I'll have to find them. Yeah. Um, I, I did good with the boots that time. I found yeah. three pairs. This is one of them. This is, um, what brand are these? Laredo. Oh, Laredo. Okay. Yeah, these are really nice. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but there are no real scuff marks or rips or tears or anything like that. And these are leather, um, size seven. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are really, really nice. I so mean, really well cared for. I don't buy boots or anything, but I mean, yeah, these look to me yeah. pretty new. Yeah. Um, They're like embroidered. It looks... Yeah. These look nice. Those were only worn a few times. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh oh, she's crying. Is it Linnea? Linnea? Lin? Oh, this one's better. Oopsie. It's a light. It's a light fixture. It's a light fixture. Um, so we got four of these for $5 each. Um, and if you buy these through the Linnea, Linnea, whatever, um, website, they're $49.99. So I threw them up for 30, um, plus shipping. So that would be kind of neat if, you know, cause if we sold all four, that's just an easy hundred bucks right there. So, yeah, absolutely. um, so yeah, so got four of these, um, and I don't know. I thought these were cool. Yeah. So, so I, I think that was everything. I, I know I'm going to look around as I'm listing things and find other things that um, we forgot to add to this, but. I feel like yeah. it went pretty well. Oh, I, I do too. Um, and do you know what tomorrow is? The 15th. Tomorrow's the 15th. It's customer appreciation day. So you and I get to fight over who gets to go. And load up for 25% off. That's true. Hmm. 